What is up my beautiful people how you all doing and in today's video I just wanted to share this quick little review of this ROM which is Descendant OS. Now I have left the ROM reviews quite a long while but right now after a while a ROM is actually offering something good rather than just bloating it with the settings like you guys love resurrection remix then nitrogen OS and stuff like even they are great for the battery like I love pixel experience but that's still a pixel port rather than being a custom ROM then again many of you guys actually love lineage OS I am not a huge fan of it but still lineage OS is just great. It has the useful features for it but right now you might not have heard about this ROM like even it's a new one for me. Descendant is not older ROM it's quite new and it now actually offers something really great which can actually help in your day-to-day -day usage. Also the ROM is extremely quick like this is a GSI this is not a custom ROM flashed on my Poco Phone F1. Right now I have actually flashed it on my Redmi Note 5 Pro and my Poco Phone F1 cause these are taller devices. Just to make it easier to explain. Again, this is a 19 by 9 aspect ratio phone and it's just extremely tall to just hold it in one hand and reach the about top. Like this feature kind of seems borrowed from the One UI. Again, I have my Galaxy S10 right over here. And the main part of the One UI is it's in its name, the one handed usage. Now, if you go to the settings app, as you can see, it opens it in half. Now, it's not literally half, but my thumb can easily reach the connections. Then again, if I'm holding it in my right hand, I can easily access search and my account, but I can just directly go to the connections. Then again, if I just go to gallery, again, this is my gallery. One swipe down gives me more options for videos, favorites, location, and suggested. Everything is in one hand. That is the main reason of the one UI. Again, they just both look beautiful, to be honest. Now, the easiest thing is just get gestures for it like you can swipe just from this bottom to just get to the one-handed usage but scaling down a whole screen is not the best thing like if you want to use a third-party app such as for example Instagram and stuff it should load completely not like a half screen and the apps that you want to actually use in your day-to-day -day life such as your alarms file manager and phone app which you quite use while doing some stuff must be easier to use with one hand on these taller screens. So this ROM just today has introduced Thumb UI, which is just completely exactly same to the One UI and it's toggleable. So for example, right now, if I just go to phone app, completely normal, nothing has changed. Again, if I just go to the messages app, it's just completely the same. Again, the performance in this ROM is just on par for a treble ROM, like phone app, opened, messages app, opened, then again, settings app, just open. It's so quick. But now if you want to enable this feature, you have to just go to gestures and buttons and there you go thumb ui as you can see this is a beta feature but we will just enable it right now and there you go our screen is now complete in half i can easily reach the top of the option with my one thumb again if i just visit any app for example if i'm walking or doing something with my another hand i can easily type in or just search anything like even the search bar is now expanded which is just amazing utilization by a custom rom this is not a complete company team like the one ui Samsung has a huge team for its software, but for a custom ROM, this is just amazing and still it's in beta. So for example, I can again access the whole phone app, the dialer. Then again, I can just quickly search for all the contacts that I have, come back. Same goes for the messages app, as you can see. Even if I'm just using it with my right hand, I can easily access the options menu. Like this is so amazing. Again, there are some bugs. Well, not bugs. It's kind of like the part of the feature right now. For example, if you go to the settings app, the screen should actually expand because it's just weird to use the half of your screen. For example, if you just go to one UI, then again, settings app, again, opens in half as you can see. But if you scroll up, it scrolls above, which is again, great. This is the proper utilization, but it's not yet added into the stock apps. It does work in file manager, which is great. You have image file manager over here, as you can see. You have your handy toggles like search, home page, and then options right over here on the half. And then if you scroll up, it goes up, which it actually should be. Then again, if you scroll down, it comes back, which is like pretty great. This should be the actual optimization for it. And again, this is just the first build and it's still in beta. So again, just hope to get it better. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the quick look of the Descendant OS new UI update. Again, this OS has pretty good features to be honest. If you go to just normal settings app, you have pretty much normal stuff that you get in your custom ROM, such as utilities, better battery usage. Then again, gestures and buttons, you have OnePlus gestures, which don't quite work well. For example, swipe up for the send ups panel. It's not that buttery smooth. You have back over here, you have back over here too. Just you can even swipe between the apps. Oh no, not actually. Yeah, it's still a bit buggy, but the main focus over here is this thumb UI. Now, the only requirement over here to try this ROM out is you need a phone which is purchased after 2018 because mostly the devices after 2018 have treble support. So your phone just needs to be treble supported, whether it could be A partition only, AB partition, A partition 32 bit 
all work. This ROM supports all three platforms. Then again, you have to just unlock the bootloader of your phone, install a Twop recovery. If your phone isn't already trebleized like the older Xiaomi's, you can always search up on XD how to trebleize your phone. Just like my Poco phone F1, if your phone already supports treble, just go to wipe, wipe your system, data and cache. Then just go to install, select image, install the ROM image, wait for a bit, hit reboot and voila, you are successfully booted into the descendant ROM. And yeah guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys like it. And again, those who are asking me, Devang, you just showed a One UI like feature. Where is the actual One UI? Well, guys, as I told you before, the real, the networking is just impossible to fix right now. Yes, Galaxy A9 2018 has just received Android 9 Pie update with the One UI and developers are looking into it to port it, which should be much easier than the Note 9 and the S9 ports. I will keep you guys updated. Just follow me on Instagram for it or just subscribe to this channel which won't be more frequently as I just don't want to bloat this channel, but I will keep you guys updated through community post. And also Galaxy A9 Pi update review will be coming up soon too. So again, subscribe for that and see you guys in the next one. Peace.